name is Kara Wilcox Bauer and I work as a program development specialist and central office for the children's division here in Jeff City and I've worked for the agency for 20 years now. I am the lead on the initiative for streamlining and strengthening the investigation process. That initiative is really focused on how we can um, really streamline our investigation process. We've had a lot of legislation over the last few years that, while really good legislation, has put a lot of demands on our workforce. And it's becoming, and we're having an increased call volume, so we're really looking at how we can simplify the process, you know, eliminating certain procedures or protocols if we can, and do that safely for children. Um, also looking at, you know, where are we targeting our resources to make sure that we are working with families who really need our intervention. I think that my initiative is important to the department because we have a responsibility um, to protect Missouri's children and um, make sure that we are um, helping families be healthy. So some of the projects that my initiative has been working on are how we can make it easier just to enter a hotline. And one of the other projects is working on revising our hotline protocols. Um, we've done a lot of work around revising the um, CAN conditions, so those conditions that have to be met in order to accept a child abuse and neglect report. We've also worked on trying to decrease our supervisory to staffing ratio in investigations and trying to get it from like a 1 to 8 to a 1 to 5 so that supervisors can have more time to spend really developing the skills of their investigative staff. I think that one of the things that I've been really excited about the work we've done so far is the partnership that we've had with the hotline and really looking at our hotline protocols and working at what works well for both the field staff and the hotline staff that are having to field all those calls. We've done a lot of work with one of the other initiatives to get our CAN overdues down and so how can we stay down and keep it at a manageable level. My name is Sarah Smith. I'm the unit manager at the Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline. I've been with Children's Division um, since 2006. I work in Jefferson City where our main hotline unit is located. The initiative that I'm leading for the division is to answer all hotline calls that are made to the Missouri Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline the first time that a reporter is calling in to report suspected abuse or neglect. This initiative is very important because we, our reporters are our community partners and we need to be able to respond to allegations of a child abuse, of child abuse and neglect in a timely manner. Um, we want to make sure that we're ensuring that children are safe in Missouri. The team that I'm working with for the placemat initiative uh, include our training staff here at the hotline and our supervisors. They're doing some promotion of our online reporting system to mandated reporters for non-emergency hotlines to try and open up our phone lines for emergency calls and permissive callers to get through. We've also had a lot of support um, from upper management at central office for children's division and our IT department. Our initiative, Meeting the Goal, has been a very collaborative um, response from all um, areas from OA with our IT department and getting our phone system up and running and, and figuring out what is happening with hold times and call systems, getting our uh, workforce management, which helps us forecast staffing um, and call trends. So it's really exciting technology. Definitely the most exciting experience so far is um, in July of 2018, the Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline gave no busies. And so that we looked back at statistics uh, going back all the way to 2004, and we haven't had a month with no busy signals where people could not get through to the hotline since before 2004. So it was really amazing teamwork from our staff here. The blue light time that we use here at the hotline is based on theories of constraint to see where our bottlenecks are and throw all of our resources at that. And so it would be great if reporters called in evenly throughout the day, but we do have a peak call time between 3 and 5 p.m. when school's getting out and when kids are getting home and reporting things. And so um, we've tried to use the blue light time and actually put up um, lights in our unit and um, turn those on whenever it gets really busy so staff know to increase their ready time on the phone to try and minimize breaks and staffing calls and just focus on the emergency and getting the calls through in a timely manner.